there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the World Cruising Club Lectures with Say Partner in cooperation with our medical expert, Dr. Jens Kofer. In this video, we are going to talk about what we can do for your medical preparation when you're preparing for your long distance sailing trip. My name is Britta Sloan and I'm from Say Partner. We have prepared a little sailing route for you, which will lead you to the perfect medical preparation for your offshore sailing. We will give you a brief overview on who is Safe Partner. After this, I will hand over to Dr. Jens Kofer, our medical expert. He will give you a general overview of the most potential medical risks on board, give you some advice on prevention of medical incidents. In case something happened, he will show you the requirements of a good medical kit, in step five, he will give you an idea on how obtaining medical support when you are offshore and totally depending on yourself. The last point, medical training is from our point of view, a very important part of your medical preparation. So stay curious with us and see how you can prepare the best way for your offshore sailing. So sail partner, who are we? Sail Partner Maritime Consultants and Trainer was founded almost 10 years ago from four enthusiastic sailors. Frederick Bend, Lutz Böhme, Michael Köhler and myself, Richard Sloan. We wanted to be more than just another sailing school. We wanted to be the Maritime Consultants and Trainer in Germany. Our portfolio ranged from offshore sea survival courses, offshore refresher, medical training, and one-to-one -one skipper trainings. We also advise and support yacht owners. And everything is rounded up with an extensive service area where we are regularly sharing the latest news and inspiring product news through the newsletter and blog posts. We got connected with the World Cruising Club at the Boat Trade Show in Düsseldorf where we introduced our latest project to Andrew Bishop and Jeremy Wyatt. Our medical aid kit, TransOcean, which is especially assembled for long and short distance sailing. And at this point, we were in agreement immediately. Medical preparation for offshore sailors should be very well planned. But before we will go into details of the presentation, I will introduce you to our medical expert, Dr. Jens Kofar. Since the beginning of our World Sailing Sea Survival trainings and later the first medical aid trainings, Dr. Jens Kofar has been our expert instructor for the medical trainings. Jens' expertise is perfectly meeting our high demand of our training. And this is why we love to work with him. He has over 30 years of general medical practice. For over 25 years, he worked as an emergency physician in the ambulance service. In addition, he was an emergency physician at sea for the German Maritime Search and Rescue Service, the DGZRS. So he knows the circumstances if help is needed. He also worked as the head emergency physician and medical advisor and expert at the Central Command for Maritime Emergency in Cuxhaven, the Havari Commando. He partly continued the work of his father and is co-author of the very comprehensive book, Medizin auf See. Last but not least, he is a very passionate long distance regatta sailor. And now I would like to proudly pass on to Dr. Jens Kofal, who will explain to you why it's so extremely important to deal with the topic of medicine at sea in advance of planning your sailing trip. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am glad to be with you. I want to give you a general overview about potential medical risks. And I want to say that it is all about risk assessment and preventing injuries. I want to highlight that we must not forget that a sailing boat is a dangerous workplace like the working environment in the industry. So 
what are the potential sources for injuries? It is the mast. A rig can fail, so it's always safer to take the windward side if you move on deck. And there is also a risk of falls during climbing. Concerning the boom, you have the risk of head injuries. So I always wear a helmet, at least under severe weather conditions or when sailing single-handed. In the cockpit, you can have falls into the cockpit or out of the cockpit. Concerning the stanchions, you can have impact and collisions with stanchions and guardrails. You can, the companionway can be slippery and you can fall. Concerning the winches, you can have a risk to hand and fingers. The foredeck hatches can be slippery, so that's always dangerous during sail changes. On the bow area, you can have the risk of injuries in heavy weather or always remember the anchor windless. Below decks, you can fall because in modern boats, there are spacious rooms and there is always a lack of handholds or grab handles. In the pantry or galley, you can have burns. So consider a safety strap or a pelvic restraint belt. In the engine, you can have burns and cuts and always beware of the alternator belt when checking a running engine. The potential injuries for the person is the head and there you can have life-threatening injuries and accidents. The spine is prone to stress from bending and lifting hand and fingers can catch into winches, you can have rope burns and cold injuries. So you have the trench food syndrome in soaked boots. Knees are prone to twisting and turning and you can have kneeling injuries. Concerning the foot or the feet, I told you about the trench food syndrome. Chest and abdomen, you can have blunt injuries and bruising, and so on. Here we have some statistical data of the most recorded incidents on board from various sources. They are at least self-explaining concerning the minor problems. I want to mention eye infections, a running nose, a sore throat, or dental problems. Now I want to give you an advice on prevention. Here we have the 12 golden rules for accident prevention I have taken from Spike Briggs books, The Skipper's Medical Emergency Handbooks. And he tells you that you have to take one hand for you and one hand for the boat. Watch out for the boom. Be attentive in bad weather. Protect your feet with suitable shoes. Always wear a life jacket and use your safety line. Wear sailing pants while cooking with hot water. Keep yourself fit. Expand your theoretical knowledge and gain practical experience. Eat and drink enough. Rest and sleep whenever possible. No alcohol, and I would recommend 24 hours prior to departure not to drink alcohol and not during the trip. And communication is always important. Talk to each other as a crew and clear up misunderstandings. What are the requirements for a good medical kit? with bandages and a lot of first aid equipment. And on the other hand, you have, you have your chips medicine chests with 
Grex and all kinds of remedies. And what you have to take with you is dependent on the destination, the number of crew, the length of journey and the crew's state of health, age and gender of crew. For instance, women before the menopause should take an iron deficiency anemia, anemia into account due to excessive bleeding and concerning children's always keep in mind that suppositories are a problem in the tropics and concerning drugs always consider instructions or regulations in foreign countries so a good medical kit should be assembled for sailing if you are private or commercial boat if you are cruising or sailing a regatta it should be tailored for the destinations if you are sailing long and short distance and here we have the module system with assorted colors clearly arranged and intuitively to use we included a product overview the modules are labeled with content and expiry date and we put a product listing with application options into it. So the ship's medicine chest should contain a lot of remedies against pulmonary and heart diseases, gastrointestinal intestinal diseases, urinary, urinary problems, anti-inflammatory medicines and painkillers, remedies against seasickness and antibiotics if you are sailing longer than three days. You don't need to take antibiotics with you if you are on a day trip. You need remedies to treat allergies or gynecological problems, diseases of skin, eyes and teeth and also ear, nose and throat. And sometimes you need, if you are sailing transocean antipsychotic drugs and intravenous solutions. Now I will give you a general advice on obtaining medical support. If you are long distance sailing, emergency services and medical care is far away you only have limited options of transporting an injured person and always limited possibilities for assessing and treating a disease in injured person because space is limited and access to patient is limited concerning the space under deck. The treatment of an Casualty is always difficult due to erratic movements of the boat, so you need an experienced helmsman to change course and not to endanger other crews. You might imagine if to administer resuscitation or give first aid on the on the foredeck and the abilities of the helpers can be restricted by cold, wetness, exhaustion and fatigue. You can get, on sometimes you need it really, you can get telemedical support from various institutions all over the world. Mostly is this, it is the TMAS, the Telemedical Maritime Assistance Service, And for this, you need a medical history log of the patient. You must fill out a form concerning your findings on, in the body check of the patient. 
and you need your special technical equipment and nowadays you should take a satellite phone with you but it's all about training that's really important the aim of a medical training for sailors is that you should ensure that a responsible person on the yacht is able to take care of the usual injuries and illnesses on board to take immediate action as a first responder in case of a major incident on board and you should be able to decide when a request for outside assistance is needed and you should advise, advise the crew when to retire from the race and proceed to the nearest port. The guidelines for a medical training for sailors are from World Sailing Offshore Special Regulations and that's the things we are teaching in our courses. It's about telemedical communications, the basics of first aid, what kind of accidents can happen and what actions on board are to be taken. Special offshore medical condi conditions are mentioned. We are training resuscitation and systematic accident management. It's also about psychology treatment and a lot of practical training. It's always good to have a trainer with extensive experience as a sailor and a doctor. The trainers should have high level knowledge about risks and injuries on board. The trainers should be recognized by international organizations. We are teaching practical skills and how to use medical equipment on board. And the sailor should learn how to respond to medical emergencies. So you don't need to be a doctor. And the good news are medical emergencies are rare. But you should be able to take care in a purposeful manner until professional help is available. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. And I would add hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Thank you. Thank you, Jens, for your presentation with a brief insights into what can happen on board, what should be observed, what is good for preparation, and at the end, what is required for appropriate equipment of the medical equipment on board. Did you also think about how you are prepared for medical emergencies on board in the last 20 minutes? What medications do you have with you for your trip? How's your selection of your medical equipment? Is it the standard car first aid kit? Or did you also adjust your emergency kit to the possible risks during a sailing trip? Regardless of whether you are in the coastal area or want to go on a long distance trip, we offer you the optimal and easy to use solution of your medical equipment on board. And in order for you to be able to evaluate the situation correctly and act safely in case of an emergency, we recommend you our two-day first medical aid training. This is what we can do for your medical preparation. Now it's up to you to prepare for your long distance sailing trip. Take a look on the Sail Partner website or in the online shop. There you will find a list of our trainings and in the online shop, the offer of the first medical aid offshore entrance ocean first aid sets. Sailing a Sail Partner, let's prepare together. <laughs>